guys, this is Tina from Shabby Tabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with those gorgeous fun photos that we were making. We made the, whoops, these three um, previously. And yeah, I thought let's come along and have a bit more of a play with these. <clears throat> so I have printed off some bits onto acetate, which I thought would be, you know, just for a different look. And then I also printed some off on vellum. Now I have to say, my printer was playing up and you can probably see it's a quite yellow and b quite faint so i'm not really too sure whether i'm going to use those but we'll see and then i've also got some just plain now when i say vellum it's really tracing paper and then what i've done i've just cut the inners out of my um you know photo center things so that we can kind of just then cut out then from just the edges so you know obviously much much quicker than having to cut the inner pieces out so yeah let's just kind of um yeah let's just get playing shall we so i'm going to take one of these from each of the colorways so you've got kind of a couple in this very pale like a sort of gray pinky color and then these are a sort of pale i suppose lilac type shade or lavender lavender type shade so I'm just going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And yeah, just quickly cut these out. I've got my little fan heater going, so if you can hear that, I do apologise. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> So that one, and then we'll just take this one, which is this sort of pinky colour one. And I think I talked last time about the fact that, you know, you could go around these with stitching. I didn't go around any of my previous ones with stitching. Um, you definitely could do that. I'm not sure whether we will do today, but yeah, that's another thing that we could, you know, bring a sort of completely different look to these. So there's loads of different things that you could be doing to alter the, you know, alter the finished piece. You know, I think you get tons and tons of different looks out of these. So yeah, just kind of feel, you know, yeah, just, well, I was going to say feel free to play around, but yeah just you know play around and kind of enjoy exactly kind of how you fancy doing things so let's take now shall we take a piece of the tracing paper I mean like I say it hasn't printed out brilliantly my printer was playing up but well not really my printer but you know the ink the ink consum consumption was kind of running out so <clears throat> You know when it just runs out of some colours and not others, you get those weird colourways, don't you? So, But I didn't want to obviously waste the tracing paper, so I thought, well, rather than waste it, we can still still use it. Okay. Now, you've got to be a bit careful because, obviously, you know, you have got to ensure that this is going to be not overhanging the photograph itself you know the photo frame so there we go oh it is that's fine I can cut it down once I've put it on there so I'm going to glue it in and then we'll trim it down so oh actually I think yeah sorry I have not made these now for a couple of weeks I did the first video and then um yeah I was dying to kind of play and then just life got in the way I didn't have a chance to play with the rest so I'm now out of um, the mode of what exactly is going on here. But yeah, actually, that's fine. Right. Okay. So yeah, we can now obviously glue this on. Oh, now I've cut it too. Oh, sorry. I'm still out of the out of the mode. Okay. Let's just get rid of these scraps. Perhaps I'll start again. Right, let's go in again. So, just cut my 
building well. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm still chilly today, even though I've got my fan heater going, so <clears throat> it's um, not taking the edge off yet. I'm sure it will, but yeah, it hasn't yet. Okay, move this over. Oops, just in danger of that flying off the desk there. Right, now I'm wondering, let's tip this over so that I can kind of, or you can see a bit better what we're doing. So there we go. So before I get, um, you know, to a point where this gets kind of lost or damaged, I'm going to just glue this down. So just taking my wet glue, and I always use the Anita's Tacky Glue. I know I say this all the time, but, you know, I just repeat myself because otherwise what happens is anyone who doesn't watch my videos normally, they don't know what glue I'm using. So it's always good to kind of just mention it. First time I've used my glue today, so right now I'm just going to bring this up here. I mean, this is the main tricky part is going around this frame, but kind of subtly enough that you're not going to get it, you know, seeping out everywhere, which I have now. So I'm just going to go around that with just dabbing my finger in. Just so that when I come to actually spread this down, it's not going to just seep everywhere. Okay, take my my photo or my you know tracing paper piece and just pop that down into here. So like that. Okay, right. Let's just go around that with the <clears throat> the wipe. Oops. Like that. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? Absolutely love that. So even though it's got quite a, you know, pale kind of print because of my ink, it still looks very, very pretty, doesn't it? So yeah, really, really, really love how that looks. So then, let's have a look and see. So, I mean, and again, you know, you could just leave that like that. You don't even have to add anything to it, but we will add something to it. So I'm thinking maybe one of these flowers. And then I've got these little cherub labels as well, which I thought were rather cute. So maybe we might even want one of those on there. Okay. Right, just going to be really pushing my fussy cutting skills to the limit here. Not oh, brilliant. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. around those little cherub wings or the angel wings, you know. Okay, and that one. There we go. Oh my goodness, how cute does that look? Love how that one looks, that's so cute. So I'm just going to ink that up now. Obviously I did not make a very good job of fussy cutting this, but I'm just inking around the edge. And this will kind of tie it in with that, um, you know, the tracing paper that didn't really print brilliantly anyway, because that's yellowy toned. Oh my goodness, how cute does that look? So gorgeous, isn't it? I absolutely love it. 
and then let's just see if we want to have a bit of lace on here I've just got these like scraps of lace they're just laying around let's just see mm, I don't know maybe that's a little bit too big let's see if we want it more right so maybe we could just have it like that so I'll just cut that down maybe even kind of cut it down a little bit more you know size wise like that oops like that do we like the lace or not like the lace I'm not sure now I'm not sure that I like that you know curly edge kind of showing so maybe I prefer it like that let me just get rid of this altogether this terrible waste of lace I have to say terribly wasteful <clears throat> let's just have a look do you know I actually think I prefer it without the lace and it's not very often that I prefer things without lace but yeah I think in this particular instance it actually looks better without so I just pop that down like that now I've not even bothered gluing where those cherubs are only because I thought well just in case you wanted to tuck something in there I know it's not very much of a um, space but just enough you know it's just enough of a space for if you wanted to put something in so like that now I'm just going to ink around the edge which again then ties this sort of more you know vintage colors all together like that okay love how that looks that's so cool doesn't it yeah I really do love how that um, tracing paper looks now what I'm wondering is from my you know sh this sheet whether I could take this one here <clears throat> which is obviously the same but you know of course it's not printed on vellum so take that that one down okay and then that could just tuck into there so actually needs to come down a little bit so I'm just going to take it down size wise a little bit more I mean it doesn't have to kind of fit in there you know perfectly but yeah, just a little bit more. So go around there with the vintage photo. Oh, I think that vintage photo might be walnut stain. I can't really see. Can't see to see what it says, but yeah, it's either one or the other, walnut stain or vintage photo, but I kind of intermix the two or, you know, interchange the two. So like that. And then I think what I'll do is just round the corners of this. You know, so it's got a look of, you know, it's actually something rather than I've just pulled in, you know, and cut out any old thing. And that can just tuck in there behind those cherubs. I might have a little bit much glue there. Okay, yeah, that just then tucks in behind those. So a little sort of put out tag. And then what we could do is, oh, could maybe even have this as a little oh that looks so cute now unfortunately my stapler has broken at the moment um I have ordered a new one because it had been going for a while and yeah just couldn't bear to be without it really so unfortunately at the moment it's not arrived yet but hopefully it's going to arrive today so it said it's arriving today but yeah in the absence of my stapler, I have to use obviously the hot glue. So, like that. Oh, how cute does that look? 
And I'm just wondering whether we could even do anything with those cherubs <clears throat> over there. You know, like whether we could cut those ones down. I'm just going to cut this down. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is, so I'm going to try and cut there along that. Now, I don't know whether that's going to look right or not, but, you know, so they've still got their ledge. I mean, why have I chosen to cut out the cherubs? Like, the worst thing that I've cut out was the cherubs. And what piece have I chosen to use? Yep, yeah, you guessed it, the cherubs. Why would I have done that? Why didn't I choose to use something square? Easy and square. Well, obviously, because that would not have looked quite right, would it? But Take that down like that. Oops. Just need to take that edge down because that's a bit too long. Right, let's just quickly ink that up. Just so all our colours kind of blend in a bit, really. What do we think if we have the cherubs on there? So I might have to cut that ledge off now. I thought it would look kind of cool, you know having the ledge but actually it looks just really strange so yeah let's get rid of the ledge so we just put those on the corner oh doesn't that look cute I've only really done that to cover up where I've glued down the lace to be honest but um you know it does look quite sweet doesn't it so yeah let's put that down onto there and obviously that does also then tie in the cherubs from the bottom how cute does that look? So you've got a little kind of tag and then it's just tucking in behind those cherubs like that. How cool is that? I love how that looks. Right, okay, <coughs> let's do another one. Uh, where's my other one that I just cut out? Oh, here we go. So that was the kind of lilac-y one. This is the sort of um, dusky, dusky pink type shaded one. So let's just pull this one in. Now I'm thinking for this one, let's use a, uh, um, what do you call this? Transparency. Sorry, still losing my ability to speak. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, right. oh my goodness. This is so hard to cut out transparency. And I know I have said before, but actually a brilliant tip for cutting out transparency film is to put it with some paper underneath because then you can obviously see, you know, where you're cutting. So, you know, if I just cut it with a piece of paper underneath, you can then see around to cut it. And even though I've said that as a tip, of course, remembering to do it myself is a whole nother, whole nother thing, isn't it? So you say it, but then when it comes to doing it, you know, it just goes out the window and you just forget about it. But yeah, that's definitely a really handy way to cut Oops, transparency film. Okay. Oh, I think I've cut that in a little bit close again. We might we might just get away from with that because I couldn't see where I was cutting. I've cut it, I think, a bit too close. Let me just... Oh, it is so one of those days. I can only apologise, honestly. Right, let me take another one because otherwise I'm not really going to be very happy with that, am I? Right, let's take this one. Do you know, I'm going to use one of these inners <coughs> as my guide. So I can actually see now where I'm cutting. So, you know, what I was referring to is just put a sheet of paper under there and then you can actually see where the edge of your image is and things without that it's very hard to see i mean i know it sounds kind of crazy but it is actually very hard to see on the transparency film so and i'm just having to use this little scrap of paper because i did not have another piece of paper so of course if you know if you're doing this a, a bigger sheet of paper would be better I mean, to say I've got no other sheets of paper sounds ridiculous because if you could see my desk, it's covered in paper, but you know what I mean. I didn't have another suitable piece. 
Right, okay, let me check now that this now fits in my frame. Yep, yeah, it does. <clears throat> right, let's cut this down. Uh, glue this down, sorry. So again, just get my, oops, get my glue. Like that. Okay, right. Now I'm just going to go around this edge. Now again, what I'm doing is just spreading that glue so it's not too um, you know, runny and going to spread all over my image. So now these images, when you print these on the transparency, there's a kind of rough edge where I assume is where the print sticks to. And then there's also a smooth edge. So I've actually turned my image round so I've got my smooth edge kind of as the right edge, if that makes sense. So yeah, obviously that wouldn't work if there was text. You know, you couldn't really do that. You'd have to have that rough edge shown, but okay, right. Oh, how yummy does that look? Oh, I've just got a bit of glue there. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that glue might be on that side now. Okay. That looks very pretty, doesn't it? So then let's just decorate this up with... I've got a whole bunch of bits and bobs here. So yeah, let's have a look. Now, do we want to use a rosette on this one actually? Got, is, the, is this the purpley one or the pink one? I'm not sure now. It's very subtle, the difference between them. So let's just pull these rosettes in. I mean, that completely changes that. I don't know whether that's kind of coming out on camera, but this obviously being kind of like a bluey, purpley kind of shade, or, you know, very deep sort of violet. If I put this down, it's making this piece look very, um, you know, lilac. If I put the other one down, which is that very kind of deep plummy color, it's making it look very um, pink. So I'm just going to cut them both out to show you because I'm actually kind of kind of amazed at how much that difference looks. Oh, here comes the dog. I'm so sorry, my daughter have been in here saying something. So um, yeah, that's kind of distracted me a bit, a bit as well. So it's just one of those days. Okay, hello, beautiful doggy. Hello, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Yes, my darling. Oh, sorry about that. Um, my daughter was a bit worried because uh, Bo had just licked a chocolate biscuit. And obviously chocolate is poisonous for dogs. Now, I don't know to the extent that chocolate is poisonous, if you see what I mean. I don't know whether just literally one lick would be, you know, catastrophic. I'm not really sure. I've tried to reassure my daughter and say, I'm sure she'll be fine. Just, you know, I'm, I'm sure that's not kind of the end of the world oh in truth I don't really know let me know below you know I I mean I feel like when we were kids I mean we did used to kind of like give dogs bits of our chocolate you know um so it seems like it was more a recent thing that they've discovered that it's poisonous for dogs so do they mean it's instantly poisonous I'm I'm not sure but yeah anyway not an ideal situation but I mean, that's what happens, isn't it? When you've got kids and animals, it's because obviously kids, they leave their rubbish laying around, i.e., you know, half-eaten biscuits. And then of course, you know, the dog can get to them. So, you know, that's just kind of one of the, one of the things that can happen, unfortunately. Right. Hopefully there's not going to be a follow-on catastrophe from this. Right, just going to take this lady and see if we can have her like in front of that building. So 
Oh, do you know what? I'm actually thinking, I wonder if we could have um, her face on the rosette. It may be too big, because actually just looking at her face, it looks way too big for that rosette, doesn't it? What was I thinking? I don't know. Just, yep. Not, not obviously thinking normal terms, but... Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, let's see. Yo, oh, my goodness, how did I think she was gonna sit on that rosette? Look at the size of her. She's like a giant, a giant compared to the rosette. I mean, what's wrong with me? Why I thought she was going to fit there. Oh no, what's going on with my ink pad now? That's got some water on it from somewhere. Or oh, this has. It must be the paper, but it must be wet. It must have picked some water up from something. I don't know what. But, oh, I've got a wet wipe. I don't know whether if I drag it around, whether that will... Oh gosh. That's not good, is it? She just looks rubbish now. Now she's all brown. Uh, this is going to be one of those days unfortunately i shouldn't do videos when it's one of those days to be honest but sometimes you don't know it's going to be one of those days until you start and then you know it's then too late too late by the time you've started it's like oh no now i've discovered Oh, and that's now my phone. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. That's um, a little friend of my daughter's. So my daughter's not got her own phone or anything. And so, you know, she uses my phone. I use an old phone for filming. She uses my phone. And um, of course, her friends then, they want to FaceTime and things. And then it's obviously ringing on my phone. So I'm so sorry. So sorry that it's just turning out to be you know, a terrible day. Terrible day at the office. Right. I was hoping that I actually had some of this colour lace that we could have put on here. I can't actually see any in that colour, which is a shame. Um, but I thought it would have looked really pretty. I have, I'm sure, got some that colour somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Let me just have a look in my lace scraps bin. Hold on. I've got some of that navy blue. Don't think that's going to be quite right either, but oh, it's a bit navy, isn't it? That piece is not not navy enough. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. That's... Just take this little tiny bit. And just see whether kind of cutting it down and making it smaller, whether it would kind of like be be at all suitable. So hold on. That's not too bad. What do we think? Yeah, I think that works okay. Take one of those bluey green butterflies as well. <clears throat> and you could also ink the edges of these in different colours. Obviously, at the moment, I mean, I've just taken vintage photo and used that for all of them. But you could definitely ink these up in some different colours. So, I mean, this one, for instance, where we've got the touches of the blue now, I could ink around the edge of that photo frame with some blue, and that would just really kind of bring the blue in. So I might, might even do that. Just cut that butterfly down. to see what blue I've got. I've got that blueprint sketch. No, I'm not necessarily saying that this is the right colour. Probably way too bright really, but let's just give it a try. 
I mean, hopefully this is kind of showing up on camera, but I mean, instantly that's just completely different look. Change that completely. You know, I find it really clever how just, you know, just the ink that you use can alter a piece so, so much. It's kind of amazing, isn't it? Just going to go around the edge of this rosette as well. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? And then actually, I'm just going to go around the edge of that butterfly. I mean, the butterfly, obviously, I don't know how much it really is picking this up because, of course, it is that bluey green colour anyway. But like that. Okay. So let's just bring that blue lace in again. Lady. I wonder if I should ink her a little bit with the blue as well. Just to bring the blue into her as well. Don't want to leave her out, do we? Oh, look at what I've done here. That's a bit of a nightmare. I've damaged the, the paper, really. So, yeah, it's kind of damaged it beyond, beyond repair because it obviously got quite soggy with the... Um, you know, with the wet wipe. So, yeah, that's not great, is it? I wonder if I should just put something else on there instead now she's... Now she's ruined. Whether I should put something else on. Because the thing is, you know, when you can see it, you're always going to see that, aren't you? You know, that's going to be the thing your eye is going to be drawn to straight away. You're going to be like, oh, that looks awful. That looks rubbish, you know. So, yeah, perhaps we'll just, perhaps we'll put something else on there instead. Just because I now can only see that kind of defect. So completely my fault because obviously, you know, I inked that with some wet on either the sponge or the paper and then picked that up obviously on the, um, you know, then tried to wipe it off with the very wet wipe and then totally forgot that it was still soggy, went to wipe it just now with the blue, kind of like dragged the paper off. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go with these flowers instead. So, and they look really pretty, to be honest, anyway, don't they? You know, I don't think they don't, go, don't look pretty. So, yeah, kind of different, different to what we were going for, but hey, I think equally as nice. Hey, who knows, maybe even nicer, to be honest. Yeah, maybe I even think they look better. So let's just quickly pop that lace down here. Like that. Okay. And then the rosebuds. One there. And this one. Oops, like that. And then, yeah, that rosette. I love the rosettes. They're really cute, aren't they? Now, that's just going to overhang slightly. So, I'm just going to kind of glue it semi. I not put glue on the top. Okie dokie. Now, where do we want that butterfly? Do we want it over there? We could have another one because there's another greeny coloured butterfly as well so should we take that one as well and I actually had thought oh I'm going to make some of these where the frames are, are vellum um, I'm not sure how well that will work if I'm truthful, because obviously you're going to have then 
you know, you're going to see where your middle bit's stuck. Unless you didn't cut the middle out and then you stuck something over it, that would potentially work. So, yeah, it's still worth kind of experimenting and playing around with that kind of, you know, reverse way of doing it. I'm not sure. Not sure whether I think that would work or not. But, oh gosh, now glue. Dip that into the vintage photo instead of the blue. Yep, the disaster continues. Disaster, disastrous crafting continues. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? So, you know, very, very different look there, isn't it? Just by having the, the different colours. So, just put that on, on there. And then this go up by the rosette. <clears throat> oh, how cute does that look? I love how that looks. Okay, let's put that one to one side. Now, I'm just wondering what other colours we... Just going to... You know having a look at the ones that we've used so that i do now a different one so which ones haven't we used well we obviously haven't used these have we oh and those were my smudgy type ones weren't they yeah honestly when you look you think oh i mean how frequently is it that my printer's playing up for goodness sake obviously quite often <laughs> by the looks of things okay i think printing has or misprinting become like the bane of my life you know printer problems and all jobs they have their thing don't they all jobs have their thing that's like oh this is a nightmare for me mine is definitely printer problems yeah okay and I'm sure I'm not alone in that I think I said just before Christmas, you know, I'm going to try and save up for one of those eco tanks um, this year, I think, because I I think that maybe would be life changing, you know, kind of, um, you know, because I wouldn't have to be dependent on ink running out, even when I've got ink. I mean, obviously, you know, you kind of do a big print run and then suddenly find half your prints have printed out, you know, with a different colour because the ink's been short and things like that. So I think it would definitely be a really worthy investment, it's got to be said. So, um, what about that one? So yeah, I think I'm going to try and save up for one. Okay. Right. I'm going to try and use that um, white paper now as a guide. definitely very helpful you know to have something kind of in the background because otherwise you really can't see where you're cutting on this transparency film I mean even there it's still hard to see like that okay move that out of the way Okay, right, let's just get rid of all my bits into the bin. Oh, oh, for a minute I thought, oh, I'm throwing my um, my frame away. No, my frame's here. But yeah, it kind of looked like I was. I thought, oh my goodness, now I'm throwing the frame away. Right, so again, I want to try and use the smooth side rather than the rough side where, uh, you know, the print's gone. So I'm going to just ink in here because I didn't go quite close enough to the edge when I was obviously cutting that inner frame out so yeah and I just kind of pre-cut those frames all with the craft knife you know pre to coming on for the video just to spare you all watching my absolutely appalling process with the craft knife because uh, yeah it's probably very painful to watch it's it's not the best technique that I have Oh, right. Oh, come on. Okay. So, yeah, like I say, this is probably the fiddliest bit, is, you know, the glue. Because you've only got those thinnish kind of frame parts. Again, I'm going to just put it down and put my finger around. 
and you know just saying again the reason why I'm doing this is just so I've got less glue to be kind of oozing out when I then put it down onto the picture so like that There we go, squish that down with the white. Like that. Okay, there we go, right. Now the other way that I've just suddenly thought that you could do this actually, um, that might be easier. So let, let me just demonstrate what I'm thinking here is if you've got your sheet of, you know, the building kind of images or, you know, the background inner pieces and say, just put it down here. Let's pretend I've cut this out or let's, let's just quickly cut that, cut that out. What you could do is just cut this quite big, you know, around, glue around your frame and just plonk that down. So, you know, if I just very quickly do this, just to kind of demonstrate, fingers crossed it's going to work. So take that like that. Okay. Take that like that. And that way you don't have to muck about. You can then go straight around on the inner piece of your frame. So I'm just going to quickly, quickly ink that little bit there. And just for my you know, shoddy cutting, get rid of that white kind of edge. And then go round with my glue. Oops. Like that. And then spread your glue, you know, again, just to kind of save that whole oozy thing from going on. And then take your piece and just pop it down over your picture. So like that. Okay, so that's just a kind of alternative way to do it. And then of course, press that down like that. Oops. <clears throat> and then you can obviously cut your whole thing down. Oops. Sorry, just noticed a little easy bit of glue there. Just coming out. So, yeah. Then when you cut your whole thing down, you're cutting your background in as well. Now, the only thing that I will say about this is then you would want to make sure that your glue is kind of reaching out to the edge of your frame, if you see what I mean. So that's why I was a bit more generous with the glue when I was putting it on. Is just so that you've got a more generous kind of like covering. Only because otherwise you're going to find that your pieces, you know, you've got like a little gap here, which, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I just don't like that. So yeah, you just want to be a little bit more generous with the glue. But that definitely is maybe a quicker way to do that. So, you know, and not just, yeah, just an alternative way, really, that you could do that. So I just put that to one side. <clears throat> right. We were doing this one, weren't we? So I'm just having another look now to see the pieces that we've done already. Because, you know, it's nice to obviously try and do some, you know, different looking ones. So let's have a bit of a look at the cut pieces that we've got left so uh, yeah I just want to make sure that I'm doing these you know so you've got different looks so here for instance I've got this lovely Paris so just take that down And honestly, I think the stitching would really add, you know, a big variation to these as well. So definitely, definitely, 
you know, I'm going to make someone stitch around them. Like I say, probably not these. Only because I'm having one of those days today, to be honest. So I think just sewing, that just feels like it's just beyond me today. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I just have those days sometimes where it's like, <gasps> oh dear, I can't face the sewing machine. Yeah, I feel like that could be just, you know, one disaster too many. So I'm not going to not going to try and sew these today, but definitely you could. So that one, admittedly, that's a bit weird because it says London on the frame, which that's a bit strange then having Paris, isn't it, on a London, you know, one that actually says London. So perhaps I'll do it on this one, which is that vellum one. When I say vellum, I know I've said it, but yeah, I mean tracing paper really. So maybe like that. Only because I felt like actually having it where it says London, that just that just felt a bit weird, to be honest. So yeah, let's just take this lady. So I hope that everybody's having a good day, doing some nice crafting. You know, if you have purchased these, I really hope that you're loving using them. I mean, I really think that they have something so, so, so fun. And honestly, I mean, like I say, it's been actually a couple of weeks since I played with them and, you know, just a time thing because I actually couldn't wait to kind of make some more with them the day that I have played with them. And then oh, I was so annoyed because I just didn't have time to so yeah this is really nice to come back and kind of do a revisit or you know a kind of extra play because they are so fun to to work with so this one again what I could do is like we did with that one with the cherub shelf is again put like a little shelf in here so that we've got somewhere to tuck things so I'm going to use that um card method that we used you know on the Roxy Creations challenge where I glue this down here and the card is kind of demonstrating where I need my glue to go to get my space that would be then a little tuck slot. So like that, okay. Oh my goodness, I mean, how gorgeous is that? I mean, I don't even know if she needs anything else, to be honest. She looks just lovely as she is. Ooh, maybe even just a little bit of lace. I think this is where it all went wrong before, wasn't it? As soon as I started, as soon as I started trying to add lace, really. Now, do we like it with the curly edge or without the curly edge? Probably with. So let's just tear that down. Kind of thinking a little bit of lace on her and then maybe just a little bit of bling. So, I mean, she is like super, super simple. I mean, we've literally added you know, nothing, nothing to her. Um, I forget my bling. Sorry, my bling's like over across the way. So, right, let me just cut some bling down. Okay. So, yeah, you know, another different kind of look this is with the bling so just take a couple of actually probably this way um probably just a little bit of perhaps four oops perhaps four okay like that Oh my goodness, how pretty does that look? I mean, it's just like nothing, isn't it, that we've done on this one, but I think just having the simplicity of, you know, just the bling and the lace and just the lady, that's enough. It really doesn't need anything else on there. So just take that like that. Whoops. Oh my goodness, I mean, how gorgeous. So, you know, you don't even have to add like a whole oops, whole bunch of things, you know, just literally the bare minimum and they're going to look lovely. So this one again, just like we did with the other one, I'm going to take down this 
to tuck in. So again, going to make it slightly smaller so it actually does kind of fit into there. So I need to obviously cut it down, you know, smaller than. Just so that it's going to, you know, actually kind of slot in. So like that. And again, just round those corners, you know, the corner rounding, I mean, again, that's option, optional, but it does sort of make it look like a deliberate piece rather than you've just slung it in there, you know. So that's kind of what I round the corners for, just to make it look a bit more sort of deliberate rather than just, oh, I've ended up over on this now. Okay, so like that. So that just then slots in there. How gorgeous is that? I don't think we actually inked this pocket, did we? And again, it probably doesn't really need it. But yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't it? So let's just quickly do this one. This will probably be our last one for today. Probably just as well, because I'm clearly, clearly struggling to make any sense today. Um, right. Now, I've just got some um, ribbon here which I'm kind of thinking we could just pull some in. So let's just oops, cut that into there. Okay, like that. Like that. So just pop, oops, pop a bit of glue in there. Maybe just have that coming out. Oh, I quite like it at the top actually now. I was kind of having this here, but... Uh, I mean, that ribbon's quite big probably on there, to be honest. Or perhaps we should have the ribbon up there with maybe a flower or something. Just check whether I want some lace under here. Should we just have a bit of lace under there? So just going to take that curly edge out as, as well. So like that. So just a little bit of lace and then just the bit of ribbon, which actually even just having the ribbon like that, to be honest, that looks very cute, doesn't it? And I mean, that's just like another really simple piece, you know, like the one that we did just now with the lady and we said, simplicity at its best you know because all it was was literally the lady and some lace and bling this is another one of those types of examples isn't it you know just nothing kind of too complicated or anything really going on you know it's just got that label saying Paris tiny little bit of lace on there and just that ribbon how gorgeous does that look so you know you can keep them as simple as you like or kind of as fussy as you, you know, you wish. And they're all going to look lovely. So let's pull in all the ones that we have done. So obviously, you know, we've done the ones in the first video and now the ones today. So the ones today we've been incorporating, obviously, the tracing paper and the transparency film. So we've got, you know, the sort of pocket type ones like that. And then the other one that we did this with the transparency and the flowers and the touches of blue so again you know very different look there by just having that blue on there and then we've got this one which was using the oops tracing paper and then we made the little pocket in there and then obviously on the original video we did the more colorful kind of ones so we've seemed to have gone quite neutral today other than the blue one um but yeah aren't they just so lovely i don't know really which one's my favorite um i have to say i still really do love this one um but that being said i do really like this blue one now um and i do really love these two yeah i actually really like this one strangely enough i do quite like her with the little you know this so like I said before, you could then just add this as a pocket. So just literally glue on three sides and that would be a little side pocket. 
Um, alternatively, you could back this onto like some coffee dyed paper. So for example, with your transparencies on there, and this is where I now don't have any coffee dyed paper to be able to demonstrate this, but not coffee dyed paper, but you know, just to give you an idea. If you kind of then back that onto there, a, it's you know sturdying it up a little bit but also you then cut round that and you've got a journal card instead of a pocket so you know even with the transparency film definitely kind of worth playing around because you can then add other effects so you know for instance you could put a colored background in so just taking just you know grabbing stuff that's on my desk but like here that's obviously a lilac background it's giving a completely different effect to that transparency. I don't know whether it would really show through the tracing paper. Well, it does a bit. So, you know, you could play around again with sort of effects like that, but definitely I think you can do a lot of different things with these. I mean, I've got some book page here. Yeah, I mean, you could even put book page. I don't know how well that's shown on camera, but you've got then the subtle kind of book page on there. Put the book page behind here on the building. How lovely does that look? This one obviously with the blue so you know you can really achieve a lot of different looks you know using pretty kind of minimal supplies i mean that's just some green food colored paper and i'm not saying that that looks right with that because of course you know we've now gone off at a tangent with the green but just again to give you an idea of what it's like if you just add some different colors and things behind them you know you're just going to kind of alter and change the whole look i mean that obviously that's just you know, adding a um, patterned paper in the background, which again, a little bit strange, you know, maybe, but definitely worth playing because I think you could add a lot of different things into those backgrounds and kind of really change the whole kind of appearance of them. So yeah, I really hope that you love them. I think they're just something super fun to play with. And of course then, you know, you could also use them individually. So you could of course use the, you know, the fussy cut pages to make snippet rolls and clusters and things like that. And of course, you could use the, you know, the pocket pieces to make other things. You know, you could mix them with, you know, for instance, your your flowers and things. I mean, actually, can't can't resist now doing this. I just once you get started crafting, it's so hard to know when to stop, isn't it? So I'm just going to quickly have a look at this. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to work. You know, it was just a kind of like spotted it on the side of my desk and thought oh well let's just quickly try that so just very very quickly you know kiss cutting this flower out like that Okie dokie. yeah not making a good job of this at all but you know it's fine like that okay There we go, and then just cut around the leaves quickly. I mean, I don't know what this is going to look like, like I say, because literally I've just that second sort of spotted it. But for instance, here, if I just take this down. You know what i'm trying to demonstrate is we don't have to be kind of limited to the you know the confines of these bits either you know you really can mix and match all sorts of other things in with them so take out the you know the inner for the where the you know the picture itself would sort of go on a traditional photo and then either mix it with your buildings and then kind of mix it with you know maybe some flowers and things i mean that in itself looks pretty doesn't it or you know again mix it with some other bits so for instance we didn't do anything in the end with the tracing paper how gorgeous does that look you know very 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 pretty isn't it and you know that's just nothing is it it's just the frame it's just a bit of tracing paper and then a fussy cut flower but how gorgeous does that look so you know i think you've got almost like unlimited um op options and opportunities with these so um yeah i really really hope that you love them really hope you have fun if you decide to get them 
and um yeah thank you so much and thank you for watching i hope you all have a great day and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks then